skin prick testing works. You might have a hunch you have allergies. For example, if it feels like you're always dealing with a runny nose, watery eyes, and sneezing fits, but you might not know what's causing them. In that case, there are a few ways we can figure out exactly what you're allergic to. The best way is with the skin prick test. Here's how it works. We'll place a drop of allergen extract on the back or forearm, then lightly prick the site so it can penetrate the skin. Next, we'll wait 15 minutes to see if a small bump, similar to a mosquito bite, develops. That's a sign you're sensitive to the allergen. To find out if you're truly allergic, we'll measure the size of the bump. A great thing about skin prick testing is that we can test for many allergens at the same time. Your allergy partner's allergist will decide which allergens to test for based on your history, the symptoms you tend to get, and where you live. Don't worry, the skin prick testing doesn't hurt, but it can be itchy. Try not to scratch. Scratching will spread the allergen drop to the other test sites and make it really hard to know which tests are positive and which ones aren't. Sometimes the skin prick test doesn't give us the answers we need. For example, the results might turn up negative even though we strongly suspect you have an allergy. In that case, we can do something called intradermal testing. In intradermal testing, we'll inject a slightly larger amount of allergen under the skin, and like with the skin prick test, we'll wait 15 minutes and see what happens. It's important to prepare for your testing. For example, you can't take antihistamines for a few days beforehand because they will make your test turn out negative. So make sure you contact the office about a week ahead of your test to get your instructions. To find out how we can treat your allergies once we know what's causing them, watch the next video.